Hey guys, this is the story behind my song, The Colors of Home. I wrote this song when I was 17, so about 10 years ago. It was the year 2007. I think I was a junior in high school, and I was actually on top of a grain bin when I started writing this song. And I wrote the entire thing, and I called it Home. And I actually put it on an acoustic CD. And I don't know if anybody still has this CD that I made in high school, but I got this one. This one's called Close to Home. So it was kind of named after the song. And then this one was called Feeling Right at Home. So anyways, the reason I rewrote this song is because I've grown up over the past 10 years like people do. And... I didn't feel as strongly about the song as I did when I first wrote it and I felt like the song could be better and I felt like the with the experiences I had I felt like I didn't really nail the main point of what I was trying to do when I first started writing it I felt like it needed to be made stronger I guess I go back and I listen to old songs of mine and I think to myself, can that song be made better? And I definitely heard a lot of new things when I went back and listened to this song. The old version, I was talking about all these colors, but I wasn't calling it the colors of home. I was just calling it home. But it's clearly describing the colors of home, so why not just call it that? This song is taking the good and bad in life, the ups and downs in life, and it's doing it with colors. It's like being a painter. Like you got the green fields, which is a positive color, but they're under gray skies. You got golden hearted people, but they're telling white lies. So it's kind of like you can't have the good without having a little bit of the bad. And it's kind of about life. It's about how I feel about life, you know? Life is a give and take, it's a push and pull, and that this is my take of that. But I'm saying it in kind of a poetic way with the colors. And yes, I wrote like 80% of the song when I was 17, but I did write the bridge about a month ago. I wrote a brand new bridge for it. This song has never had a bridge before, and I really like the way the bridge sums the whole thing up. The bridge is, maybe life is a balance between the dark and the light. Sometimes it's gonna hurt, sometimes it's gonna feel so right. That's why I'm holding on tight to these green fields under gray skies, golden-hearted people telling white lies. In last week's story behind the song, I let you know how many more songs are left on this project. If you missed that video, I'll refresh you that there is one more new song left and it's coming out this Saturday. And then the last song after that will be Perfect Peace. And then we're going to be wrapping it up and reviewing and doing some Q&As and just kind of thanking you guys for everything that you have done during this past four months. You guys have supported me every week and I really appreciate it. You've not just supported me, but you've supported my songs and my music and it means the world to me. So thank you so much and I'm going to be thanking you more in the next couple weeks. So I hope you were able to get something from this song. I hope it made sense to you. I hope you can relate this song to your life in some way, shape, or form. I hope you're having a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.